Oh my God. This is the best butt ever. Are you killing me? I'm gonna sleep here tonight. Uh, that's awesome. I just can't believe how beautiful this spot is. <laughs> just for yourself. Oh, this is people, but you're gonna be able to sleep here, no problem. So that's pretty cool. That's like a lake. And we are really in the bay because we have the other side. So before I go walk and explore this beautiful place and maybe go with Kelly, uh, we'll see if the traffic's gonna slow down. It's Sunday uh, evening, so maybe later on it's gonna be quite quiet so we can go for a little walk with Katie but I'm hungry <laughs> I've been thinking about this since uh, almost this afternoon <laughs> so I marinate uh, a lot of things uh, so probably six hours ago I made a little marinade cut some onion uh, red bell pepper that's what I had some mushroom and some firm tofu that I cube and I marinate with some soy sauce some salt sauce, some um, maple syrup, of course, <laughs> and a little bit of other spice, chili flakes, uh, chili powder, and onion powder as well. So I think it's gonna be good. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour here and I'm good, just gonna flour the tofu so it get, get really crispy. I like when the tofu is crispy. And we're just gonna throw all this into a pan, uh, grill everything, and cook that. Maybe with rice or quinoa. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's do that first. All right, guys. So I put all the vegetables. It tastes so good. I'm impressed. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this uh, rice that I have left. It's gonna take all the flavor in the same time. This is definitely something I should make more often. I made it once on the campfire. I don't think I had tofu that time. Just the marinade. But put a good amount of onion powder today. It really tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Alright guys. <clears throat> I ate everything in two seconds. It's been like one of the best stuff that I've done very from very long time. It was really good. <laughs> Key marinade for probably been marinated for seven hours right now, so yeah. And a ton of onion powder. Very good. Mm. I wish I had made more. <laughs> I'm full. It was just so so good. So you wanna go outside?
<laughs> it's those places that make me just want to travel, you know? Those little corner, not touristic at all, or well, not that I know at least, just make me want to, you know, explore those little corner, those little hidden space. It's gorgeous. And I've been here a lot, maybe because this is my biggest road trip. Some people telling me that I try to run off something, that I should stop in one place, go inside, figure out what's wrong, uh, and sell all in one place. Because I obviously chasing something, I obviously not happy and I just want to go another place and never fulfill me. And I would say that's totally wrong. I used to be like this. I used to uh, always asking my boyfriend at the time to always move because I was never happy. And I was like super exciting to move, super exciting to discover another little town. And I thought that in the next town I'll be happy. And after a while in that town, I realized I was not happy. And after several <laughs> moving, I realized that none of that would make me happy. And when I started to live in a van, I realized right away how happier I was. I always had the dream of travel. Like that's a passion, something that I love. And I love to do it a little bit more if you want locally, not traveling necessarily like in other country and you know, not that I don't like that. I just love to travel with currently my cat, with my van and have my own little space compared to be at hotel all the time and flying all over the place. And I'm so happy right now. How can I say that? I'm not running off something. I'm running towards something that I love. And this is just traveling a little bit out of the place that I know. Just see a little something different. Even when I was living in Squamish and I was working there, living in my car, I was so happy to just move a little bit in the dirt little park or in the little area. For me that just fulfilled me and I know right now I'm doing like a way bigger trip. I'm like crossing all Canada uh, which was a dream of me to do that. But even doing locally, even this winter of just stay on Vancouver Island and just moving from a small little town and see those little park and you know, see those little hidden spots that I don't know, this fulfill me. This make me just want to travel all the time. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this because I'm not happy. I used to do that. Now I'm just, that's what make me happy. That's a part of what make me happier. <laughs> uh, and I just love it. And I don't see like, you know, all those people who travel all around the world or traveling on the sailboat or traveling in their van or the RV or all those people, they're not running off of something they don't like. They just love this lifestyle. Not everyone can live in the house and feels good. I just love see a different little view every day. It just, yeah, just make me feel really good. <laughs> Come on, why see the same view when you can like see different place like this one? It's gorgeous.
Oh, and she definitely loved to see new place and new view from our window. <laughs> She's not complaining at all. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I felt so cold. I think the wind outside just like, woo! It's warm inside the van. It is 21 right now, but I'm just like, ooh. So I started a heater. <laughs> it's been quite chilly at night. Uh, yesterday we had like probably around like zero one, just close to freezing point still. It was nice and warm today, but yeah, it's still that wind. It's just like... Whoop. So I'm gonna chill here. I've been driving, not too much today, but been driving every day a little bit to make it for the ferry to go to Newfoundland in just like, in just a couple of days. We are very, very, very close. Uh, and I just wanted to couple of days over there before taking the ferry to just relax, do a couple of little things inside the van before taking the ferry. So. Uh, been driving a little bit every day, uh, so been feeling a little bit tired today. Uh, I'm glad though, like this morning I was like, oh, maybe I should not drive and just stay in the town that I was. And I decided, oh, let's just drive a little bit. So I did like, I think only an hour, 45 minutes maybe. Uh, and I'm glad I've done it because with the lake and the beautiful scenery that I saw today, I just like, <sighs> it was, was great. <laughs> it was really, really great. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling a little bit tired. Um, pretty exciting though to take the ferry. That's going to be really awesome. And I'm going to take a day or two before taking the ferry to just relax, like I said, and uh, figure out a couple of things in the van and make sure everything is ready for this, I was to say big road trip for this, for this big uh, boat trip, <laughs> ferry trip uh, is a seven hour, so that's a long one. So I'm gonna chill here, I'm gonna leave you with hopefully a beautiful sunset uh, that I'm gonna watch, I've been loving loving doing that here on the east coast uh on the pacific we do we don't get that much like some area like so much because of the mountain you don't really see like the really sunset forever uh and i've been enjoying when i'm by the ocean by the lake here it's just like i'm not even sure if it's a lake or just like a huge bay from the ocean i saw a couple of shelf uh, so definitely some water coming <laughs> from the ocean here. I think it's a mix <laughs> probably But uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying watching the sunset here um, And when we're gonna be really on the coast in a couple of days, it's gonna be the sunrise. It's probably gonna be epic All right guys, I will see you in the next video Thank you for joining me. If you are not already, maybe thinking I was subscribing, that'd be awesome. And I was to say I'm gonna let you with Kitty, but nah, she's sleeping, but she's cute. Oh, with the beautiful sun in your face, babe. <laughs> you always cute, no matter what. Huh?